Sailor Mercury, Amy here. And let's see if I can get this down a little bit. Uh, well, I hope YouTube doesn't pick that thumbnail of me trying, seeking to get my hands in the right way and in my but sadly probably is anyway oh all right hi I'm Sailor Mercury Amy here and today I'm gonna talk about you know this whole I don't know age restriction or I guess you could call it uh, well, if age is, I guess, a French bar where English word might be how old someone is. So it might be like more like youth, un, uh, youth, un, youth, unlitting or lit because restrictions a French bar word it means to lit. So it'd be youth unlitting, letting I guess or unlitting I guess might be the English word for it. And a lot of folks think, uh, have this belief that, oh, the oversight shifted. Oh, anything you say can put you on it. Now, it's not what you say and what you do, but it's what is in your film. The only kind of folks that would be put on that kind of list would be folks that cursed in every film and every word coming out of their mouth was a curse word. Um, if they were in, if it was, um, <clears throat> if it was a news, um, broadcast and it was showing, you know, all kinds of, uh, things in it that, you know, like stuff that, or that was kind of, you know, like fighting and stuff or films that had edgy stunts and larks that got someone harmed. Or films that had, you know, folks with, you know, you know, like if it was like films that uh, had to do with, you know, learning about the living body, but there was nowhere anything on, then those films would be on that list and films that had to do with stuff like that. Now, being put on that list isn't a bad thing. It's not a strike against you or anything. You didn't lose your good standing. The only unlike is, is that someone would have to be logged in to show that they were old enough to watch that kind of film. Now, a YouTube mate out there, the only thing that may happen is that they might see a a da they might see less income or uh, business wise is on any film that did get uh, put on that list but at the end of the day I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a thing to be fear striking over you know striking fear fear striking folks over you know in but that's always the thing Someone is always going to fear strike and play up on the fears of someone and they're going to say, oh, well, they're going to hover, they're going to look around your shoulder and they're going to do this and do that. Well, I have been on, we've been on YouTube for about six years and age restriction or whatever you want to call it, it's been around for a long time. It's not shifting the oversight of what falls underneath it. But I know a lot of folks talk about the YouTube uh, tool that YouTube had set up going way back to around March or April, whatever the grounds might have been, to help them run the Webstead. Or at least help them, you know, when it came to uh, followership and Webstead oversight and followership oversight. And a lot of folks think, oh, it's going to make a lot of bad calls. Well, if there's a film that you feel that was put on a list, but was put on a list by mistake, you could always tell them about it, and then they could always look at it and take it off. But 
I wouldn't be all frightened about it either. You know, a lot of folks out there like to play on the fear of others and think the worst of it. There's some folks out there probably and oh, it's another YouTube way of cleaning you. You know, I mean, you could still do all those films you wanted to do, but don't be so, but don't be also, but don't be like, oh, I'm on the list because, you know, you know, and someone might say, oh, what about bullying? Well, bullying would doesn't, would not get one on that, on that list. Bullying would actually get someone get their films either, would get them a uh, strike against them if it was the first time they did it. If it was the first time they did it, then it'd be a warning and then a free strike and they'd be gone. But these would be films that had stuff in them that, well, it's still following the followership oversight, it might not, or Webstead oversight, but it might not be right for everyone to watch. And I know there's going to be, and it's another way of YouTube uh, shielding folks beyond eight, between eight between. You know, another way of YouTube showing that they're following that oversight, that, you know, they don't want to get another bind again, like they did about last year over for kids and not for kids stuff. So it's another way of YouTube making sure that they are following that to, you know, to the best of their, uh, their skills. But being put on that list is a no big deal. You know, you don't lose your good standing. You didn't lose your gifts. Your films are still watchable by everyone as long as they're logged in to show they're old enough to watch them. Um, and that's about it. I'm Sailor Mercury Amy, and I hope you like this film.